25 game mechanics you need to know? That seems like a video you need to watch. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. It is time to brawl. Now today we're gonna be going over 25, 25, it's a lot, 25 game mechanics that you need to know. Now there will be some veteran players watching this and they will know quite a few of these, but I seriously doubt that anyone watching is going to know all 25, because I'm the only Brawl Stars master. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for real, if somebody watching this video is going to know all 25, please let me know. I would be so incredibly impressed. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe for more Brawl Stars videos just like this one. Brawlers that are not maxed will have a regular circle underneath their character, but brawlers that are maxed out and have their star power will have a star in their circle underneath them. So you'll always know if an enemy player has their star power and you need to adapt your strategy accordingly. Bush color actually does matter, at least to some extent. Green grass is alive and will regrow after a certain period of time. But yellow grass is dead grass, and if you kill it, then it will not regrow for the duration of the match. In order to heal up in the middle of battle, you have to do two things. The first is to not attack, and the second is to not receive any damage from an enemy brawler. After a certain period of time, you will start to heal up, but if you either start taking damage again or you start attacking, that healing will be interrupted. Quick fire, also known as auto aim, will fire even if an enemy brawler is not in range or in sight. And that will waste your ammo, so make sure you're not spamming that auto aim more than you have to. You can manually aim your super by dragging out from the button rather than just tapping on it. And if you want to cancel an attack or a super, you can do so by dragging back to the center of the joystick and then letting go. Supers are charged up off of hits and not by damage dealt. This is important because if you have 10 power-ups in showdown, it will not charge up your super faster, nor will it charge up faster if your brawlers get upgraded and deal more damage. One important thing to note is that star powers do not charge up your super at all and this includes brawlers that deal damage with their star power like brock terra piper or any other brawler you can stop some supers that take a little bit of time to unload with brawlers that have some type of a knockback mechanic this is very obvious for a brawler like frank who takes a very long time to release his super but you can also do this with brawlers like colt brock barley or ricochet that take a long time to unload all of their shots after brawlers have respawned and they are invincible you cannot stun or slow them if you see a blue or a red ring around a brawler that means that that brawler has their super charged up and can use it whenever they would like to and if you see a yellow ring around a brawler like this that means that they are activating their super so you might want to watch out the star player is calculated based off of three major components the first is winning the second is damage dealt and the third is completing the objective of the game mode for example holding gems in gem grab technically it is actually possible for a star player to be given to the losing player but it is incredibly unlikely okay guys we are up through 12 of the 25 game interactions now we are going to start moving into the specific game modes and showing some of the game mechanics there starting off with gem grab the gem mine pops out a gem every seven seconds and before it does so it will start to emit a purple light that will warn you that the gem is about to be popped out in most cases you should not run away from the gem mine unless unless you have at least two more gems than the enemy team. For example, if both you and the enemy team have nine gems and a 10th gem pops out and your team takes it and you guys run away, another gem will actually pop out of the gem mine before the countdown time has reached. An exception to this is if your team has 15 gems, the mine will stop producing gems past 29 gems, which means that at 15 gems, if you have 15 and the enemy team has 14, the another gem will not pop out. And the only way that they can actually stop that countdown is by taking out a brawler with some gems. The gem mine will stop spawning gems if there are 10 or more gems currently on the ground. Now let's quickly talk about some ways to get some more points in bounty. First of all, the middle star on the map does not increase a player's bounty, it only gives your team a point, so it is always beneficial for you to pick up that star as long as you can survive. Because the star count at the very beginning of all brawlers is always 2, but the bounty of a killer is only increased by 1, you should almost always prioritize surviving over taking out an enemy brawler as this will give your team a point advantage. Another way for you to get a point advantage is to max out your stars at seven stars, meaning that you will be able to get more kills without actually increasing your bounty. Now let's cover a couple of mechanics that you need to know about heist. It is actually possible for both your team and the enemy team to kill the safes at the exact same time, forcing a 0% draw in heist. Are you kidding what? me? 
That's the first time I've ever seen a draw actually happen. I didn't I mean, know that was possible. I knew it was possible, but I've never seen it. It is also possible for you to have a draw in heist when the timer runs out when the safes have different amounts of damage being dealt to them. The reason why is because the percentage at the very top of the match is actually what matters the most. Because each 1% is actually 300 damage, the safes can be at the same percent with different HPs. Now let's talk about some important showdown mechanics that you are definitely going to want to know. One mechanic that seems to surprise new players when they first reach this point is at around 300 trophies everyone's names will be replaced with three question marks to prevent people from teaming with their friends or from keeping people from teaming with youtube celebrities like me don't worry guys i don't team after the match, you can actually go back into the battle log and see which players were playing in that showdown match. And you can actually see which players got which rank in showdown as it is listed from rank 1 in the upper left down to rank 10 in the lower right. In order for you to get your star token in solo showdown, you have to get fourth or better and your team has to get second or better in duo showdown for you to get the star token. When you are playing, you can actually see a little bit more above your brawler than you can see below your brawler. In most game modes, this doesn't actually matter because the screens are actually mirrored for each player. But in showdown, down, the maps are not mirrored or anything like that and so if you are attacking from below you will actually have a sight advantage over your opponent for every three power-ups a brawler has they will drop one additional power point upon death to make it simple Brawlers up to two power-ups will actually only drop one. Enemies with three will drop two. Enemies with six will drop three. Enemies nine will drop four. And it continues. Finally, let's go ahead and give some Brawl Ball tips. If you auto-aim close to the goal, it will automatically directly fire at the center of the goal every time. And finally, spawns are destroyed after each goal, so do not waste a turret or a minion if you know that a goal is about to be made. And those are 25 game mechanics that you need to know in Brawl Stars. But wait, we got three bonus tips. First bonus tip is that spin to win does not work, but skin to win does. Second is when you are playing with randoms, you are also a random. So if you say that randoms suck, you're just saying that you suck. And believe me, you don't suck. Last bonus tip, if you subscribe to this channel, I'm pretty sure it automatically makes you a better Brawl Stars player. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have more tips, make sure you go ahead and put it in the comment section below and like your favorite tips as well so that other players can actually see it. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.